Lord's table, we better have a checkup. That's right. You may not know what day of the month it was or what day of the year it was, but you better know when it happened because if you don't know when it happened, then it didn't happen. So we better know when the Lord saved us. The only thing we got going on, don't forget our men's breakfast coming up Saturday morning. This coming Saturday will be the 6th. We always have our men's breakfast on the first Saturday of the month. That will be coming up this Saturday, this next Saturday. Look forward to that. I know it will be a blessing. I always have a good time doing that. I don't, well, like, I, like I said, I've got to get a hold of the guy over uh, Trenton that said he might come and preach for us, but we'll be looking forward to that. I know it will be a blessing. Then the next Saturday, the 13th, we're going to have a ladies' breakfast. We'll get ready to have that cook. We'll be ready about 8 30 Saturday morning, so all you ladies invite people to come and be with us and enjoy that town. I know you'll have a good time doing that. Together together and have a good fellowship. We'll try to have you some good food. We haven't killed anybody yet, so we're probably doing all right. We'll probably make it all right. Then on the, on the 20th, there's a picnic at Shell Mound. Do that about 12 o'clock that Saturday. Uh, picnic at Shell Mound. And then on the, uh, well, that's about it. That's, close. that's, that's enough for now. We'll, do, we'll check the rest of it later on. And I reckon that's about it for us. I know. Yeah. 
to take that medicine to Paul himself. You know, Steve was singing that song about the little boy running by his behind the door. I think about Blake when he was little. Two or three year old when I was a sinner. Not that wrong in life, Steve. But God still loves him. That's right. He's still real. That's right. He said the little boy running ahead beside the door, head behind the door. Every time like Blake ain't got to hide behind that door no more. Because yeah. I got saved and got right in the Lord. Amen. And it ain't going the way, hey man. Amen. Let me tell you something about salvation. Salvation is the best gift we can ever have, church. Yeah. Right. Salvation is endured to the end of time. Amen. Yeah. When this world passed away, we'll still have salvation, yeah. hey man. When we in heaven, we with our loved ones. We'll be singing about salvation. We'll be singing about hallelujah, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah to be worshiped, church. Yeah. And when they were done, we need to worship the Lord. Yeah. It's today, amen. Yeah. We're going to be holding up holy hands. Yeah. Shout to the Lord today, amen. Yeah. We come to church for one reason. That's what God done, amen. Yeah. It ain't what the preacher does. It's what Jesus done for us. Yeah. The closer we get to the Lord, the more we'll worship, amen. Yeah. The closer we get to the Lord, the more we'll respect what God done for us. Amen. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. Over in Revelation chapter 19, it talks about a great multitude. Uh -huh. Heaven's going to be a lot of people, church. There's going to be a lot of choirs up there. Yeah. There's going to be an elder band up there. Hey, man. They're going to be shouting, hollering. I'm just trying to get you used to it, hey, man. Yeah. I'm trying to get you ready to go to heaven. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm trying to get you ready now. Amen. Right. Let me tell you something. You ain't going to two places. Yeah. Heaven or hell. Right. I'm going to make it simple to you now. If you ain't going to heaven, you're going to hell. Oh, Brother Roy, that's kind of harsh, ain't it? I want to get your attention like the Lord got my attention. That Holy Ghost will come back there sweeping there. And still a steering in your heart. Let me tell you something about the benefits of going to heaven. That's a lot of good benefits, I can sister. Amen. I got a mama there. I got a grandmama there. Yeah. I got a twin brother there. Woo. Yeah. I can't wait to get to heaven and see my family. I got a church family that was one on the head of me. Hey, man. I got a lot of people in heaven waiting on me to get there, sister. I'm sure you have too. What a blessing it is to get to heaven to see our family, hey man, just to get around that crowd with the Lord and holler, holy, holy, holy. He's a God worth praising tonight, hey man. He's a God worth holding your holy hands up, praising God tonight, hey man. What's happened to us, church? Have we got too dignified, brother? We got too dignified, hey Caught up in the world. You know where this person talks about? Close these boys' ears. It talks about the great whore in there. That's what the Word of God says. This ain't what Brother Gordon said. This is what the Word of God says. It was in Babylon that had many gods. There's a lot of gods out there today. But I'm going to tell you the only thing you need today is Jesus. I'm going to make it simple. Jesus is all you need today. You don't need anything else. All you need is a great one. Hey, man. He's a king of kings and the Lord of lords. Hey, man. All you need is mighty God tonight. Yeah. Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end tonight, hey man. Yeah. That's all we need tonight. Right. We don't need no fancy hotels. I don't need no holiday here, hey man. Every day somebody said I go to a prior place. Yeah. And where I go, what? He's going to come again. He's going to right. got some home set up in heaven. I don't care if it's a shack, hey man. I bet we ain't got to make no building codes. I bet they ain't got no restrictions in heaven, hey man. I bet we ain't got to make this standard, that standard. I bet all we got to do is be born again. I think all we got to do is give our heart to the Lord tonight. We ain't got to worry about this code, that code, hey man. It's all about a code here. Heard of God. I'm going to look like a $2 watch now. But I heard a guy in Dixon Fraser bragging about how many followers he had. He said, Brother Rob, I got this many followers on Instagram, this many followers on Facebook. He said, How many you got? One. One. I follow one person in there. Right. I don't follow a lot of all that hogwash. Babylon had a lot of gods. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Anything takes your time and time away from the house of God. That's a God. 
He without sin cast the first time. Is it right or wrong? I mean, am I right? So they throw down the rocks and start running. From the oldest to the least. You know why? Thou yeah. hast sin. So we see a great multitude with much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation, the greatest gift. Let me tell you something, the greatest gift we can ever have. And glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the true and righteous are his judgment. For he has judged the great. I think I said it once. What's that word saying? All right. Which did corrupt the earth with a hurt fornication, had apples of blood, our servants of hand. And again they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped God. Amen. Let me tell you something. If there's ever a time, God, there are a lot of women to worship God. What has God done for you? What has God done for you? Amen. God. I wouldn't even be brave in that. God didn't put life in me, Marty. I wouldn't even be brave in this morning. Hey, man. God took us up from the ground in the surge. Hey, man. We just the old hunk of dirt clay. He breathed life in us. Hey, man. He breathed that life so we can tell people about Jesus. Hey, man. So we can get out here and tell people and worship. Hey, man. Let me tell you something about worship tonight. The closer you get to God, the more you're going to worship. Hey, man. If you just come to church just to be seen, you might as well stay at home. I ain't trying to be mean. Let me tell you something. If you come to church for a beauty contest, you might as well stay home because I'm going to lose their time. We don't come to church, Fred. Y'all, we come to church to worship the Lord. He told you right here. The elders worship. They, it, all heaven's going to be is us worshiping the Lord. We're going to be up there praising the Lord 24 hours a day, right? I don't know what we're going to have time for to you, sister. I don't know what we're going to have time for when we get to heaven. i tell you what we're going to have time for. We're going to have time to praise God. I can see us right now getting around that throne. Get around that throne of the Lord. Hey, man, when we get around the throne, Jesus will be up on there. He had nail scar hands, a pierce in his side, the scars on his legs. You know what he's going to say? You know what he's going to say to us? Come in. Good and faithful servant. That's all I need to say to me, I don't need no pats on my back down here. I don't need you to tell me what a great job I've done. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Though as God tells me to come on in, I'm happy. Yes. Right? Hey. That's all I'm waiting on, sister. God hey, tell me. It's time for you to come home, brother. Roy. I'm calling you home tonight. Are you ready to go home tonight? Are you ready to go home tonight? If God called you home tonight, would you be ready to leave us earth tonight? It don't matter how old you are. You can leave here tonight. <laughs> One day God's going to call us all home, church. Yes. Yes. One day God's going to call us home. Yes. As a preacher, we've got to have you ready. Right. I'm ready to go home. Yes. Without a shadow of doubt, I'm ready to leave. A lot of people can't say that. I ain't always been ready. I've been through the fire several times. I lived a hard life. These boys got here, I honor whoever took who, who was the first one to take y'all to church? Oh, you took them to church. You'll be honored. It's a blessing, y'all. Yeah. Who's but sinner bound for hate? Let me tell you what'll make you worship when you realize where you're headed. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Have you got it yet? When you realize where you was heading, you're going to start praising the Lord. Hey, you see? I don't know about you, but I know where I was headed. I was on the wrong track. Hey, man. I was on the wrong track, on the wrong track, on the wrong track. I couldn't get off that wrong track. That's right. We all fall short. And it's written, none righteous, no, not one. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me tell you something. God is holy God tonight. He's, a, he's lit up right now, blowing like a penny. He wants us to be holy nation, hey man. He wants us to be holy right down here, right outside the doors. He wants us to be, yes. we got to be a light. We're in a dark world, y'all. Yeah. Right. Y'all young, where do y'all go to school at? Where? 
Hey, dear. Let me tell you something. Have you ever seen anybody like Brother Earl stand in front of you? <laughs> I ain't trying to put you on the spot. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something. The reason I'm like this is because God made me that way. I'm going to tell you what you ask God. If you want something, you ask God for it. If you want to do something, you ask God to help you do it. When you want to sing, you ask God to help you sing. He'll help you do anything you want to do. All you got to do is get up and let it run. Amen. Amen. Praise tonight. I see less people praising. Well, let me tell you something. A thousand people praise Tennessee baseball team when they won that national championship. Thousands. Of course, I was happy. Now, I ain't going to tell you I wasn't happy. But there ain't no better praising than praising Jesus to bring us out of hell. Well, we didn't realize, Robert, what we was headed, I was headed down a dark place. I don't know about some of y'all. Maybe some of y'all, your mamas and daddies were safe, so that, that includes y'all. Some people think it's just kind of their mom and daddy just say they, they include it too. I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what your mom and daddy's done. I don't care what your grandma done. I don't care what nobody done. You better be born again tonight. John 3, uh, I think it's 3 7, said you must be born again. You must be born again tonight. If God called you up tonight, so this is it, sister. Are you ready? Are you ready to meet your family? Now, I'm talking about God's family in heaven. I got loved ones in there. I got a twin brother I've never seen. But I'm going to tell you something. We're going to see him. Yeah. We're going to see him again. I promise we're going to see him again. The Bible tells me you're going to know as they know. We're going to know him too, Robert. Right? I don't know how we're going to know all this. There's a lot of mysteries in the Bible. But we're going to have a body like Jesus too. Amen. We will have big bodies like we got. Brother, there ain't no way no two feet up there. No. I might be down to one feet. I doubt it. I like to eat too much. I close in a minute. He gives honor to the dishonorable. Do you remember, you know, when you do remember, when people in your family say, oh, you'll never amount to anything. Have you ever been told that, child? You'll never amount to anything. You're the black sheep of the family. Have you ever been told you the black sheep of the family? Yes. Let me tell you something. I got a Jesus. But you ain't no black sheep of the family. Everybody's good. Amen and holy. God loves everybody tonight. It don't matter what you've done, what you go to do. God take for your sins today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. It don't matter what we've done. He said your sins are gone from the east to the west. Amen. Thank God we got a God who loves us. Thank God we ain't got to answer people tonight. Could you imagine getting up in South Pittsburgh at one of them meetings? Say, God save me. Am I welcome to heaven? The first question they ask you, how much money you got? So I don't mind if I had to go back to line. Or borrow from Robert to get to heaven. Because I wouldn't have enough money to get to heaven. If it costs money, Steve, then I wouldn't have enough money to get to heaven. But God said it's a free gift. Yeah, right, right. I'm talking about a free gift tonight. Yeah. Let me tell you somebody, some man in this system, hey, some man in this church ain't never accepted that gift. Right. And I'm telling you right now, God's talking to you. God's tugging on your heart right now. He's telling you, you must be born again. Amen. It's time to quit playing and start giving God your life tonight. Amen. You may not make it tomorrow. You might go out here and there's parking lot, especially on this road. Let me tell you something. You better look on both sides, upside down, in the alleys, everything when you pull out on this road out here. You think a kid just pull out there and watch. Yeah. I almost been killed up here several times. Well, hey, if I go I'm ready. You know what, sister, I get the mansion. I don't even care. I don't care what I do. I just want to make with Jesus. Amen. I want to be with my mom. Yeah. I want to be with my twin. Amen. I want to be with my family. Hey, man. Right. I want to be with my church family. What's going on, Robert? Right. We got a lot of loved ones in heaven yes. right now waiting on table. I got a grandma up there. I don't believe she got no red seal stuff in heaven, but I don't believe she's worried about it because she's got a body like Jesus. Amen. Right. You know, we was talking about it today. We was talking about it. We said, uh, we asked this guy who prayed for him. Hey, somebody prayed for you because you sat right here. That's right. Somebody took their time 
and pray for you, or you would not be sitting here today. Would you? Are we praying for people like we should? Can we improve them? We can improve. They've always improved me, sister. I can improve. I can be a better preacher. I can do better in life. I can do this. I can do that. We can all do better. I don't think, but I'm going to tell you something. I can't wait to go ahead and get these choirs. Marty, you need to go out to lead singing to get them. There's going to be so many choirs up there. And the angels. Y'all, y'all, the angels are even going to get in on the singing. I don't know if y'all know it, but angels are going to get on this thing. We're going to be singing to the Lord. We're going to be praising the Lord with our holy hands up. You know why, sister? We're going to have a body like Jesus. This body, there ain't going to be no walkers in heaven. There ain't going to be no oxygen tank in heaven. There ain't going to be no eyeglasses. There ain't going to be no false teeth, amen. You know why? Because God paid the price. He went to that cross and died for the church. Amen. He died that we go on and have life more abundantly, amen. Why don't we worship him down here? Why don't we get worship in our bodies when we come through our doors? Why don't we just power and sound head man? Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. When's the last time you hollered out of church? Hey, I feel good when I holler, sister. That's like something wrong with you holler. There are something wrong with me. I love Jesus. Amen. I love the Lord tonight. Hey, man, I love Jesus. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to close with this tonight. This world's in trouble. That's right. They in trouble. This world's in trouble. Yeah. They turn their back on the Lord. They turn their back on the Ten Commandments. They turn their back on the Holy God. They think it's worn now. They think there's a heat wave coming. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a heat wave coming. Right. It's going to burn this earth up. Yeah. They talk about global warming, sister. They said last year was the hottest year on this earth. Let me tell you something, it's going to get a lot hotter. Right. But you know what? You ain't got to worry if you're a Christian. Right. Amen. We're going to be out. Yes. The rapture in heaven is going to be a thing. I can't wait to get up there with them. the rapture one drop. Can you just see him up there in heaven talking about God raised him up? Amen. I just can't wait to get up there with him and shout, go to shouting and hollering. Amen. There's going to be a lot of people up there just shouting and praising the Lord. Amen, sister. We're going to be gathered around that throne just thanking Jesus for you, Thank you. The closer you get to God, the less you worry about people. Do you get it? You don't worry about what somebody thinks about you. I remember when I, I tell one of them, Rhonda, I got Rhonda here. She vouched for me. She got saved and served in the church. I'm a conservative preacher, y'all can tell you. So, first time I ever got up and testified, she said, Oh, girl, they don't act like that in church. They don't act like this in church. I told her, I said, I don't care how they act. I've been free. I ain't bound down no more, hey amen. These chains have been broken, hey amen. God broke the chains for me, Marty. I ain't, I ain't worried about how nobody thinks about me, hey amen. I'm worried about being a Lord pleaser, not a man pleaser, hey amen. I took around and just watch me, hey amen. I was running all the church sisters, just throwing my hands up, just praising the Lord, hey amen. Chat and holler, just thanking the Lord for what he done. Thanking the Lord for not giving up on me, hey amen. When's the last time we told the Lord, thank you, Jesus? When's the last time we told the Lord, thank you, Jesus, for getting me out of this? Thank you, Lord, for getting me through this. Thank you, Lord, for my help. Hey, man. Thank you, Lord, for the money I got. I ain't got no money, so I ain't thanking you for that. But let me tell you something. It talks about salvation in 19. If you ain't got salvation, you, you missed the best gift in the Bible. I'm telling you something now. Salvation is a test of any time. When this world's gone and vanished, if you're saved, you'll be saved. He said, I'll know as they are now. We get to heaven. We'll be up there, Charles, shout and holler. But you know what? There will be people in heaven looking at we met us. You know, you get some looks up here like, is he lost his mind? What's happened, brother? Was he went crazy? I am crazy. I love Jesus. 
Amen. I'm glad that Jesus took me out of the dark place. Yes. And if he says he took me out of the dark place, you don't have to go back to that dark place to know. If you're walking in the light today, yes. let me tell you something about the dark. The dark is evil. There's a lot of evil out in this world today. Right. He said that in the last days, good would be bad. Bad would be good. Right. He said you won't know the women from the man. What's going on? I, I, I'm just going to tell you, I can't tell a man from the women no more. Nope. I don't know what they are. I'm a silence now. I'm just telling you, I, some of these people out there, but I'm going to tell you something. It ain't up to me to judge them, but I'm going to tell you who's going to judge them. The same judge going to judge us. Right. He's going to judge every one of us in here one day. He's going to get us down here. He's going to say, when I told you to get up in that church and worship, why didn't you worship? Right. Why do you worry about what people think about you? Charles, I'm glad I ain't getting fired. Right. I'm glad that's just what God made me from. I ain't worried about being in no popularity contest. Come on, Marty, this time. I went too far in here. I called my wife here tonight special. Special at my wife. Just really pray for me when I do Blake's wedding because it's going to be hard, y'all. I know he's 24. 